we want to solve the given trig equation on the interval from zero to two pi. We have four sine squared theta minus seven sine theta minus two equals zero. This should remind us of the form of a quadratic equation or an equation in the form four x squared minus seven x minus two equals zero. But instead of x, we have sine theta. So if we can factor this in terms of x, we should be able to factor the given equation in terms of sine theta. So if it does factor, it'll have two factors, or we'll place the factors of four sine squared theta in the first positions, and then the factors of negative two in the second positions, so that the sum of the inner product and outer product would be negative seven sine theta. So notice if we put four sine theta here, and one sine theta or sine theta here, these are two factors of four sine squared theta, and then for the factors of negative two, if we put a minus two here and a positive one here, that would give us a product of negative two, and then notice how the outer product is negative eight sine theta, the inner product is positive one sine theta, which does have a sum of negative seven sine theta. So this is the correct factorization of our trig equation. So if this product is equal to zero, that means four sine theta plus one must equal zero, or sine theta minus two must equal zero. So if we solve this equation for sine theta, we would subtract one and divide by four. We'd have sine theta equals negative one-fourth. And over here, we would add two to both sides. We'd have sine theta equals positive two. Well, the maximum value for the sine function is positive one, so sine theta is never going to equal positive two. Therefore, this equation is not going to give us any solutions. Now, looking at this first equation, sine theta equals negative one-fourth, we should recognize that we won't find this sine function value on the unit circle or using our reference triangles, which means we'll have to use the calculator to help us solve this. But we should also recognize that since this sine function value is negative and sine theta is equal to y divided by r, this is telling us that the y coordinate must be negative and therefore our solutions must be in the third or fourth quadrants where the y coordinate is negative and therefore the sine function value would be negative. Now we'll have to go to the calculator to help us find a solution. If sine theta equals negative one-fourth, if we solve this equation for theta, we would have theta is equal to inverse sine or arc sine of negative one-fourth. This is what we'll type into the calculator to help us find one of our solutions. We do want to verify that we are in radian mode, so I'll press the mode key. Notice how we are in radian mode, so we'll go back to the home screen, press second sine negative one-fourth, and enter. Now we are asked to round to three decimal places, so we'll round this to negative 0 0.253 radians. So we are going to write this down, but it's not in the interval that we were given. That's okay because we can still use it to find our solutions in the given interval. So let's go ahead and sketch this angle in standard position. Because this angle is negative, it would be a clockwise rotation 0 0.253 radians, which means the reference angle would be 0 0.253 radians. And therefore, one solution in the given interval from zero to two pi would be this angle here that terminates in the fourth quadrant. To find this angle, we can take two pi radians and then subtract the reference angle of 0 0.253 radians. which would be approximately 6.030 radians. But remember, we also said the sine function value is negative in the third quadrant, 
which means if we sketch the same reference angle in the third quadrant, we can find a second solution. So if the terminal side is here, where again the reference angle is 0 0.253 radians, this would be a second solution to our trig equation. That would be the angle that starts here and stops here. To find this angle, we can take pi radians, half a rotation, and then add the reference angle of 0 0.253. So the solution in the third quadrant is approximately 3.395 radians. I hope this explanation was helpful.